Yes. Um, in your moral argument, you brought up that uh, if God does not exist, then objective morality does not exist. However, I, I think that it's also true on that same, the same, for the same reason that premise is true, it's true that if God exists, then no objective morality exists. And obviously you're familiar with the Euthyphro dilemma, and yes. I'm familiar with your response to it, right. saying that it is in not God, that God arbitrarily assigns morality, but that morality and God's will are one and the same. Yet I find that, I'm trying to say it quickly, yet I, to some extent I find that unsatisfying because I can imagine possible worlds, say, where God's nature is totally different, where God likes rape, say, and I wonder how that fits in with your mm -hmm. Well, it, what I would say is those are not possible worlds. Those are though, this logically incoherent. There are no possible worlds like that. Um, and, and maybe you made a misstatement in your statement of my view, and I thought it was perhaps just because you were rushing, but maybe there's a misunderstanding. I don't base moral values in God's will, because you're quite right. In different possible worlds, God might will different things. Rather, the notion is that moral values are rooted in God's essential nature, so that God is holy and perfectly loving and just and kind in the same way that a bachelor is unmarried or that a triangle has three angles. It's essential to his nature to have these properties. So there is no possible world in which God exists and God says that he likes rape or, or, or says cruelty is good. So I think it is a coherent view of God and of moral values. Unless we're moral nihilists, we've got to have some sort of ground for moral values. So I can't think of any more plausible ground than to say that moral values are rooted in the nature of God himself, and his e nature is essential, and so it couldn't have been otherwise in different worlds.